part of our people, for our kids. And we're always trying in every way to keep pushing and to keep doing what we must to put our voices out there so our children can be set free. I'm very grateful to be standing out here for many of you that um, contributed for my bail. I appreciate and I thank each and every one of you, just like the my brother um, that pushed it, that went live with my sister and my brother, that no one else was there. And I had to go live because there's a heart, a hurt inside my heart going on. I fight for my people with my heart. And I will stand by my people till the day I die. But it's wrong when you will talk about me and my children. I kind of understand that one of the ones that organized it was one of the ones that shamed me. Um, he's the one that was... I actually, I stood up to him on IG right here on Instagram. He started posting bad stuff about somebody that wasn't even there that should have been there hearing. And because I told him, why do you post that? He started shaming me and he started saying stuff about my children and about myself and which was wrong. I told him his name. I believe his name is love the messenger on um, Instagram. But um, I don't know him personally. I don't know who he is. But, and I don't, I have no, um, I really don't want to know who he is because of him just shaming me on Instagram was just wrong. And it, it, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have, have done that from the beginning. Um, because honestly, I really went out with my heart and I didn't really go out for nobody. I went out for the children that need that voice. Then it's wrong. I thought of my children every step of the moment. That's the reason why I went to those march in Adelanto. Because of my future, my semiguitas, my babies, my babies that are in those cages, because those are my blood as well. That is my creation, my, my raza. And even native indigenous, all kinds of children I will fight for, and even homeless and disabled. That is where my heart is. But it's not fair when you want to make false rumors about me. It's not fair. It's not right. It's pretty fucked up that you're making up rumors about me. You were never there when I got arrested. I remember seeing you in the crowd, but I remember ever talking to you. Now you need to stop making false rumors about me and my children. I thought about my children all the time. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Like, all this I did was for the kids. And even though you're saying there wasn't any kids, it doesn't matter. There's still people that are still locked up in those fucking places. What makes you think that we're going to be okay with these people? These white motherfucking supremacists degrading our children, raping them, molesting them, and you think we're okay with that? So whatever you're doing, you just stop. Stop making up rumors about me. Because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do stuff you're not gonna like. I don't want to expose you on my timeline, right? That's not right. I'm not gonna do that. But if you want me to do that, then I will. I don't have to get to that. I was just trying to be peaceful with you at the at the end. But honestly, I'm just gonna follow you. And you don't have to be in my court. Thank you though, but I rather you not. Cause honestly, I don't want people that are more against me in my side. I would rather you be in the other side. That's again, that's with the oppressors. Because honestly, it feels like you're just against me. Okay, I do apologize for bringing up your children. I didn't mean it in that way, in a bad way. I was just pointing out because the sister before that was commenting mentioned your children. So that's all I was saying. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend to know what exactly was going through your mind. Um, I have taken the, that particular comment down. But other than that, that mistake of mentioning your children, which I still don't think it was a wrong, I didn't do it in the wrong way, but apologies. Um, I stand by what I said, uh, strategic sound. And uh, you don't remember, but you did tell me to my face, fuck them, fuck it, let them come. You did. 
but we could agree to disagree and whatever. It's okay. I hold no grudges, and it's not even towards you. This whole thing was all about Jonah, and that's it. It's not about dividing. It's not about none of that. Um, sure, you know, you don't want me. I'm not going to go somewhere to, uh, where someone doesn't want me there. Uh, in this case, your case, your court case. Um, so, you know, I hope all goes well. And um, good, good fortune, good luck to you. And um, I do definitely understand about doing everything for the children to free them all. I get that. And I am well aware. And I have contacts from the inside because of that day. So it's not like I regret. It's not like I feel what transpired was a mistake because I don't think it was. The only unfortunate thing that I still uh, have is, um, is you know, that, uh, that you got locked up and that sucked because you didn't have to. So, uh, again, uh, you know, it wasn't about you. Uh, I probably should have just left it alone when that one, when that other woman mentioned it. But um, I didn't, so that's my bad. But I still stand for what I said. All right, there's a lot of ways and a lot of angles. All right, you have a blessed day. And I'm not okay with it. Because you're only hurting your own woman. You're only hurting and degrading your own people. Don't do that, it's wrong. Free our kids. Freed me from my from that jail when I was in two days, fucking cold as fuck in that cell. They stuck with me and my sister and my brother. And I didn't have the money, but in time I will pay you all. I promise. I don't have the money right now, but I promise I'll work to pay everyone. Because you threw that in my face that I have to pay back. You said that that money could have been for children. I know. And I'm sorry for wasting people's money, but I did it from my heart, and I don't regret it. And I'll fight again and again and again for my kids, for my rasa. And I stand with you for your kids, because you stood with me. So I'll stand with you to the end, brother.